Good morning, everybody. Hello and welcome back to the Build It Vlog. Today we are in uh, outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Back in Arizona, this is my fourth city this week and it is Thursday, it's not even Friday. We're out here today with Sunland Asphalt and they, or maybe just Sunland, I know they, they started with asphalt, they do construction as well. They do a lot of work down here in Arizona and they're all over the Southwest nowadays. We are on SR87. This is the highway state route that connects Phoenix to Payson. So if you've ever driven from Phoenix to Payson, you'll know how beautiful this road is. This is one of my favorite drives in Phoenix. They're doing a mill and fill. So they have a mill right up here to my left. They're taking, it looks to be maybe three inches off this existing road and then they have the paving spread right down the way. As you can see, there's live traffic. So they're doing one lane, they're milling, they're filling as they go. And then once they're done on the, on the left lane, it's really windy today, they'll, they'll switch over and do the right lane. So they have ADOT, Arizona Department of Transportation. They'll have some state troopers out here helping with traffic control. They're trying to slow traffic down. I think it's typically 65. They're rolling 45 mile an hour here to keep these guys safe. And uh, they're milling all the material, all the mil material into trucks. The trucks are hauling to their plant down at Lake Pleasant. So it's probably a 20, 25 minute haul. And then they'll use the millings. They'll recycle it into the new hot mix. They'll load the trucks with the hot mix. They'll haul it back up here to the paving spread. And uh, by the end of today, all of this that was just milled will be filled back in with new asphalt pavement. And uh, this will be a beautiful drive. So I'm excited to be out here, beautiful day. Like I said, a little windy, but it should be a nice time. So let's go see what they got going. The existing asphalt's a little warm, worn, and you need a new surface, nice smooth surface. So the very first step is to come in with your asphalt mill, and the mill will take out a few inches. I guess what the millings look like here, it looks like just about two inches. Um, this is one width, so I don't know, this isn't a really big mill, this is like a medium-sized mill. So they have to make it in two passes to get one uh, one lane. They're sweeping it up with the the broom. Then right behind us is the sweeper. It leaves that nice clean surface. So you can see this is what it looks like. Is this chewed up milled asphalt surface that's ready for that new layer of asphalt? We'll mill it up using a nice drum with carbide teeth on it, and we'll spit the asphalt, the millings out into trucks. The trucks will haul that asphalt, the millings, to the plant to get recycled. Right behind that, you'll have a machine that'll put out tack coat. And so that's basically a material, it's like a liquid asphalt, that'll help the new asphalt adhere to the old existing surface. So this is where they left off yesterday, and then this is right where they started milling this morning. So the tack coat is ready. We're just waiting on our trucks right now. So they started the mill right here, and then to get a nice clean joint, they probably brought in a skid steer at the smaller mill to cut that so it's ready for asphalt. So after you spray the tack coat down, you'll have your paving train that'll come through. They'll likely be laying out the asphalt in front with belly dumps. Then you'll have an elevator that'll pick up that asphalt off of the, the surface. We'll put it in the hopper of the paver. The paver will lay it all out and then you'll have your rollers come behind it and compact it. So within potentially, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes from milling, you already have your new road getting laid out behind it. You'll have a batch plant that Sunland will set up. They have it set up at Lake Pleasant. The batch plant will serve this project. They'll haul the recycled asphalt to the batch plant. They'll mix in the recycled asphalt with new uh, emulsion and new aggregate to make new asphalt. The asphalt's hauled back here and away you go. So that is the process in a nutshell.
in Arizona, belly dumps are the preferred truck of choice. So the belly dump will swing in here and it'll lay out a string or a, you know, a nice windrow of asphalt all the way down the lane. And then this right here is the elevator that'll pick up the asphalt off the, off the ground and throw it into the hopper. The nice thing about using this elevator is that the paving train doesn't have to stop, which is advantageous because if it's stopping and starting based on trucks coming in and out, you start to get your cold spots, cold joints, and that starts to erode the quality of the product. Um, so that's pretty much the, the reason for that is the trucks can keep swinging in and out without slowing down the paving train. So this can just keep rolling once the trucks get here. All right, everybody, we finally got trucks. Trucks are just absolutely everywhere now. They're hauling in asphalt. They're dumping in front of the paving spread. They're back hauling millings. Life is grand here. It took a little longer than expected, but hey, that's construction. So we've had a great time this morning with Sunland. This is, I love shooting this stuff because it's in this beautiful location in my home state. It's good looking work, mainline highway paving. Great morning, great morning. So thanks to Sunland for having us out. We got to get this guy to the airport, so we're not gonna be able to see too much more today, but this was an awesome project. I'm really glad we were able to come out here and they're blowing and going now. So hopefully everybody enjoyed. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about asphalt paving and we will see you on the next episode. Stay dirty, everybody. <laughs>